This is the IDE that I shall use to explain the whole thing. First create a new project. Select the basic template and give a name to your project. Save your project. A source file containing the main function is added to this project. First of all let's get our main function up and running. Add the required header files and namespace directives. Save the source file because we have made changes to it. Compile the code. It compiles without any errors. Now run it. It runs successfully. Next add a new file to your project. This is header guard. The header guard prevents this file from being included more than once. Save the file. Give it a name and the extension for header files. Now add another file to hold the definition of this function. Include any header files needed for the code inside the body of the function. Print some message in the function body. Save the file with any name. But it is common to keep the name same as of the header file. Give it the correct extension. Now we have two additional files for declaration and definition.
This is the definition. And this is the declaration. We'll now call the function that we defined just now. Include its header file so that it can be introduced to the compiler. Call the function here. Save the file. Save other files also. Run the code. Compiles without errors. The function is called successfully. Let's see what happens if the function definition were not provided. Delete the definition. Save the changes. Compile it. A linker error is thrown. Let's undo the changes and bring the definition back. Again compile it. It will compile fine. What happens if the header file were not included? Comment out the directive and save the changes. The code won't compile because the name fx hasn't been introduced to the compiler. This is the compiler error. Bring the header back. The code compiles and links again.